But not every action nor every passion admits of a mean. For some have names that already imply badness. For example, spite, shamelessness, envy. And in the case of actions, adultery, theft, murder. For all of these and such like things imply by their names that they are themselves bad and not the excess or deficiencies of them. It is not possible, he goes on, then ever to be right with regard to them. One must always be wrong. Here is a very, very clear statement of a fundamental point in ethics, a point that has been more controversial than it should be. Aristotle got this right, and it is critical. Some actions are intrinsically, that is, in their very essence, their very nature, what they are, some actions are intrinsically evil. Such actions are, in Aristotle's terminology, already at an extreme. They are fundamentally disordered. He goes on and explains that when you're talking about, and this is his example, as you saw, adultery, you don't make a distinction between an extreme, an excess, a deficiency, seeking a mean, this is wrong. So there are certain kinds of actions that are, by what they are, wrong. In this context, Aristotle makes one more remarkable point. Though a virtue such as courage or temperance seeks or observes a mean between an excess and a deficiency, at the same time, the habit itself, the virtue, can be said to be an extreme of goodness. In other words, there's no such thing as too much courage or too much temperance. Virtues are unqualifiedly good. Unqualifiedly good. This is important because that's something that, that there can often be misunderstanding of. When Aristotle says that as regards fear, and again we're about to look at courage as an example, of fear there can be too much or too little and courage observes the mean, people can make, have the misunderstanding that that means, well, that you could have too much courage or too little courage. No. Courage is the excellence. Courage is at the mean. Never too much courage. Courage is excellence. This is a good opportunity to note the original meaning of the Greek word for virtue. It simply meant excellence. To have a specific virtue is simply to be excellent in some area of life. Habitually, deep within, excellent. 